welcome to Weird, Gross, and Beautiful, a casual discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or all three. And today we're talking about pufferfish. There are over 120 different kinds of species of pufferfish, and most of them live in tropical or subtropical oceanic waters but some of them you can find in brackish or even fresh water. Oh, what? That's like a fish of four different kinds of waters. <laughs> they have four teeth in their, in their whole mouth, but it's like fused together to make this weird little like, eh, eh, like a weird like beak type thing. Why did I try to demonstrate that for you? And what sorts of things do they eat with teeth like that, you might ask? Well, not really any different than most fish. They eat like invertebrates and algae. And some of the, of the bigger ones, they will like crack open mussels or clams. Pufferfish have no scales, but uh, some of them have little spikes so that they can puff up real big. You know how they go? Yeah, they, it's because they have really expandable stomachs and so they can like ingest a whole bunch of water or air if they have to and they're just like, I'm so big now, <gasps> you don't wanna f with this. Pufferfish are poor and clumsy swimmers and so in lieu of escape, they will puff up real big, right? And it's like they're like a million times their normal size and they're like virtually inedible. But if a animal is lucky to, you know, to gnaw them on a pufferfish before it puffs all the way up, they're not gonna feel too lucky for much longer. They're gonna be like, yeah, yes, got the pufferfish before it puffed up. But then, but then, oh no, it's poison. I should have thought this through more thoroughly. Almost all pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, and it's a, it's a substance that is a, makes it like taste super nasty and also uh, poisonous to most kinds of fish. To humans, tetrodotoxin is like so, so, so lethal. It's uh, like 1200 times more lethal than cyanide. There is enough toxin in one pufferfish to kill 30 humans and there is no known antidote. So when you see a pufferfish, maybe don't eat it, you know, right? Common sense, you'd be wrong. Cause in Japan, it is known as a delicacy. It's called fugu in Japan. And and they eat it. And and I and it has to be prepared by super specially skilled and trained chefs because they know that one wrong cut of the puffer fish could mean almost certain death for a customer. Why don't we just not eat the puffer fish? There's so many other fish to choose from. There are literally millions of other fish in the sea. Why do we gotta eat that one? Why can't we eat any of the other fish? What the f Thank you so much for watching We're Gross and Beautiful. My name is Kitty Rare, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Wayne to let me know what animal you would like me to cover next time on We're Gross and Beautiful. And this week, the animal was suggested by Jason Voorhees. I hope not the actual murderer. So you're welcome. Thank you so much for the suggestion, sweetheart. Mwah. Please subscribe to the channel and check out these videos over here, especially this one. And I will see you next week. I love you so much. Goodbye. Mwah.